the 2010 Winter Olympic Games in Vancouver, Canada. Now, who would have thunk it? Warm snow melting weather in Vancouver. <laughs> well, the Canadian bobsled team sure did. Well, that's just one of their secret weapons. Now, we're going to be showing you many more secrets and video blogs over, coming over the next couple of days. That's right, our boys, Pierre Luders, Blessie Brown, Jesse Lumsden, and all that super hot Lyndon Rush when he's hot, as well as the entire Canadian national bobsled team, have been secretly training in the heat for the past year. Now, I'm talking the hotter the better. They knew everybody had been talking about the weather here in Vancouver and no snow, so they took every opportunity they could to find it every detail in this fair weather sliding. That's right. Now this track is promising to be wicked fast and these games at Whistler Olympic Park are going to be a wild and wooly one, let me tell you, with speeds over 150 kilometers per hour. Now these boys got to take care too because coming out of the chute and going 150 kilometers an hour and hitting a metal pole, boy, I tell you, you are a goner. Deader than a doornail, that's right. I tell you, these metal poles seem to be all over the edge of this track like the RCMP radar traps on the Trans-Canada between Banff and Calgary. Howdy there, folks. Old Norton Stagger here. Yes, sir, I'd like to introduce you to my buddy Buck. He's one of the two Cowtown Cowboys. Now, he's been in a bit of a scuffle with the wife again last night, so she's got him in the doghouse. Uh, but I hope we can rile them because we got us a date today with the Australian bobsled team. Oh, I see she's been feeding them, but he is in the doghouse. Hey, Buck! Are you in there, buddy? Wake up! Is that you, honey? Uh, Buck, I know she's got a bit of a harsh and uh, hoarse voice, but uh, no, it's your buddy Norton here. You want to go another round, Oh, uh, no, it's not much. It's just me, your buddy oh, Buck. Yeah, no. Come Sorry, on, now. Buck. Whoa, look at that. That's there's Butch coming, throwing at something. You know, you be, be careful with her. I thought it was Butch. So anyways, Buck, as I said, we got that Australian team that we're going to be seeing today. Good, good. Where are they? Come on over here. Let me show you. Now, see, well, as you can see, this fancy aluminum hey. case there, Buck. This, this is, is all the Australians come in to bring their uh, sled around town. This is bomb-proof, bulletproof, rat-proof. Hey, it's even luggage loss proof. Exactly. And this is how, as you can see, Bobsleigh Australia, this is how the boys from Australia bring their sled around town and everything. Now, but when they did bring it over the big pond, they brought her over in a wood case. Inside the high tensile aluminum. Yeah, high tensile. And uh, <laughs> I'll I tell you, it's a beautiful thing when you look inside one of these things. And now our sled was a gorgeous thing, the, the Canadian sled. But one of our biggest problems was uh, carting it around. Now, we didn't have any budget for that. The, uh, the, uh, that was back when we had the liberals our in. Our sled was the high so Come on over here. Let me just show you now. We saw what the Aussies, how they would cart their sleds around. Now, this is the way the Canadian team do it. We use a recycle bin that they brought their fancy one in. It's the, in the bin is no sin. This is beautiful, shiny and smooth, aerodynamic, 51, my age. Is hey, this is meant for me, man. I want to be an Olympian. I hope you, they take old guys. Hey, look, it's got a brown nose on there, too, just like you. Well, come on over here. Now, I know all you bobsled fanatics are more interested in the bobsled, its material and its aerodynamics and its speed, but I'll tell you something. You look at how they make these boxes. Man, I've been looking for a box like this. It's better than my old dog house. They got four by fours. They got two by fours. They got four by eight sheeting, all punched in with little brad nails. Like you can't get a box better than this. I tell you, they're bringing it over to put in here. It's all clear to go, fellas. It's all clear to go. I checked that box out. As you can see, I checked that box out. It's, it's safe. That new ride they got is safe to go into that box. And I want you to know that us Canadians will go to any price to keep that safe. Those boys, 
their job is to watch it carefully and make sure that it's greased up. Greased up, I tell you. And have you been watching them to make sure they've been taking care of our pride and joy? Our pride and joy. Our pride and joy. These are the guys. These are our golden men. They're taking us to the Olympic dream. Can't you see? And there she sits in all her glory. Look at that beauty. I, I got to take my hat off to that. Oh, I'll tell you. She's Please. a beauty, folks. All you people in Australia. I know your mouths are watering and your beer is spilling on the table because you see our secret weapon. There it goes. Look at the speed of that. He's getting ready to push. Oh, hold he's practicing the push. We might have to. Don't let him see that. Oh, he's just turning around, folks. It's not time and yet. It looks easy. He's making it look Aha, easy. Aha, those things go backwards. Those things go backwards. Though you won't see it at the Olympics going backwards. Here you will. Here you will. <laughs>